While Rafael Nadal was busy rocking short shorts en route to winning his third tournament of 2013, we were compiling the latest and greatest stories from around the tennis world. Hey tennis fans, I'm Blair Henley and welcome to the Tennis Now News Update. Yes, Nadal shocked us all, and maybe even himself, when he captured the Indian Wells title with a three-set win over Juan Martín del Potro. Nadal now has one more ATP Masters 1000 event win than Roger Federer with 22. And he also has more titles this year than any other man on tour. Perhaps most shocking is the fact that Nadal hadn't won a hardcourt title since Tokyo in 2010. With the win, he's also moved to a career-best 17-1 start on the year. Before celebrating with his team, Nadal made sure to give tournament owner and billionaire Larry Ellison a hearty handshake in the stands. Rafa had been staying with Ellison in his desert mansion during his time in California. Nadal summed it all up after the match, saying, quote, Seriously, it's impossible to have a better comeback, no? And as great as it is to see Rafa being Rafa, many are disappointed that he's decided to rest his knee instead of playing the Sony Open in Miami. The news is a blow for the South Florida tournament that will also be missing Roger Federer. In addition, Marty Fish announced that he will not continue his comeback in Key Biscayne. According to his Twitter page, Fish appreciates the support and quote, hopes to be back out there again soon. Also at Indian Wells, the Bryan brothers captured one of the few major titles that had eluded them with a win over Jersey Janowitz and Treat Huey. And Maria Sharapova took out Caroline Wozniacki 6-2, 6-2 in the women's final. Wozniacki took some heat earlier in the week for excessive moonballing in her semifinal match against Angelique Kerber. When Sharapova was asked about whether or not she witnessed the moonballs in question, she said, That was quite interesting. Usually when your opponent has time to hit higher balls or a little bit of spin, that means you're giving them a bit more time to do that. Sharapova's title run has earned her the number two ranking behind Serena Williams. Indian Wells semifinalist Maria Kirilenko is apparently in the process of planning her wedding to hockey superstar Alex Ovechkin, although no official date has been set. In the meantime, the couple is supporting each other in their respective sports. Kirilenko says she gets nervous watching his games, while he reportedly tells her to quote, just go there and beat them. Well, Red Foo's in the news again. The 37-year-old musician and boyfriend to Victoria Azarenka has entered the U.S. Open national playoffs in hopes of gaining a wild card into the U.S. Open qualifying draw in August. Don't worry, he'll be playing under his real name, Stefan Gordy. He'll be joined by 38-year-old Heroes actor Sandeel Ramamurthy, who will be dusting off his racket after a successful junior tennis career in Texas. That's all for today's Tennis Now News update. Are you surprised by Rafa's win? Did you see Wozniacki's moon balls? Let us know in the comment section below or on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.